I'm Cody Askins with Secure Agent Mentor. This video is all about final expense sales presentation. There's agents that literally just pull from the hip. They have no clue what they're gonna do, when they're gonna do it, how they're gonna do it, or even why they're gonna do it. I believe to get from point A to point B, hi, my name's Cody, thanks for your business, welcome to the family. There has to be a system. There's steps involved in a sales process. These are my four steps. And I'm also gonna include at the end why they work so well and why I've perfected what I feel like the perfect final expense sales presentation. Step number one, the warm up. It is imperative to build rapport, build a relationship. It is proven that if the client likes you, they trust you, they love you, and they feel confident in you, they are more likely to make a decision. Step number two, is the fact-finding portion of the appointment. This is my four-step appointment process. Step two is fact-finding. During the fact-find, you've got to be asking questions about their health, what they have, what they want to have, what are their dreams, what are their goals, what are the desires, what do they want to accomplish? Because in the end, we can tell them what to do, we can recommend things, but if they're not on board, it's not going to happen. We've got to recommend, we've got to build rapport, we've got to be a dynamic, awesome, enthusiastic salesperson that is focused on building trust and value. But at the same time, they've got to be engaged in what's going on. So I believe in the fact-finding portion, we need to ask more questions and they need to talk more than we do. To have a successful sales presentation and a process, the client must talk more than we do. When they talk more than I do, I make sales. When I talk more, than, I love to talk, but when I talk more than they do, I don't make as many sales. That's step two. Step number three of the four step one process, step number three is, and I believe probably the most important, it's the presentation and it's the close. You've got to be able to present, you've got to know what you're doing, and I believe that how you present, how you word things, how you ask questions, how you proceed through step number three, what your dynamic is will control how, when, and if they make a decision. In the presentation part of the appointment process, I believe that we need to not only make recommendations, but before you give them quotes and make a recommendation, I believe that you should build some value in yourself, in the company you represent, in the company you're writing, but also some value and benefits and features of what you're selling them. I go through, this is the way I run it, I go through five different benefits and I tell them, these are the five, is it okay if I go over the five benefits of the types of policies that we sell? These benefits my clients love, these benefits you will love, and these five benefits are why clients make decisions and why they prefer to do business with me. And I, I, I say those things. Benefit number one, whole life will never change. Benefit number two, and, and I go through each one of these and I actually write them down one at a time. Whole life to age 100. And I explain why that's important. Do you like that? Is that? I get feedback, I get acknowledgement, I get agreement on everything I do. Is it important to you? Do you like it? Is it awesome? Then I go to the second benefit. The price lock, super important, they love that. The price lock, the price is locked in, it never goes up. It, I'm freaking locking it down, baby. We're putting a freaking big old lock on it. What do you think of that? Do you, I know a lot of our policies, the price fluctuates, goes, goes up every year, goes up every five years, ends when you're 80. Do you like the idea of having coverage forever and it never changing and the price staying the same? Is that important to you? It's important to them, I promise. Benefit number three, and I walk through each and every one of these, is double accident. And a lot of policies, if they don't have it, you can add it as a writer typically, which I think is important. Do you feel like it's important? Accidents happen. I think it's nice and it's cool that this policy we're, we're talking about here today pays double in the event of an accident. Yes, 20,000 is great, but 40,000 is better, am I right? Benefit number four, builds cash value. I'll tell them, hey, I don't re we don't recommend that anyone ever touch the cash value because it affects the policy in different ways. But do you understand how it works? Do you understand the importance of it and the fact that it's there, it's kind of like a savings account that accrues over time that if you needed access to, it's something that's there and that's what funds your policy permanently. I want to make sure they understand it. I don't want to get too deep. I want to be generic. I want to just skim over it because it is a feature. It comes with policies. The fourth, the, I'm sorry, the fifth benefit, 
a local agent. I spend more time on the fifth benefit, the local agent, than anything else, and I believe the local agent is what helps people make a decision because if you think about it, I'll tell them, a local agent's important because when you can buy policies through the mail, over the phone, through the TV, any, any, any way you want, online, it doesn't matter. But you want to do business with someone locally, in person, that you, can, that, that you can get to know, that you feel like you can trust, am I right? And that's what they want. So I'll tell them, hey, rather than calling the 1-800 number, what are you going to hold for 40 minutes when you need any changes? You know, you want to change your bank account. You're, you, you, you get married, your beneficiary, whatever. Rather than, rather than having to go through, jump through all those hoops and, and add that burden to your life, call a local number, call my office, call my cell phone. We handle it immediately. No burden. Everything's lifted. And even more, I tell them, even more important than minor changes. When that time comes, Miss Betty, that you're no longer with us, What's going to happen is, rather than your family having to get claims paperwork notarized, mail off death certificates, organize everything with a funeral home, go through all these processes, and I want to make it seem lengthy and a lot because it is. It's a lot. It's a huge burden on their family's shoulder in the toughest time of their life. Rather than, pour, that, rather than putting all that on your family, they can call me. I'm the local guy that's going to take care of everything get the paperwork to them that needs to be signed, help get everything notarized, and deliver a claim check within a matter of days. Is that important to you? Do you feel like having a local agent is freaking imperative? And they, when do they ever not agree? And then after I've got an acknowledgement over all five of those benefits, I will then continue and say, okay, of these five, which are the most, which one's the most important to you? Again, gain acknowledge about each one, get them to make decisions. These are the trial closes, the small items that I want them to agree to and respond to because if they can make small decisions and tell me what they like about policies, I've got a better chance that when I immediately go and show them three options in descending order, 20,000, 10,000, 5,000 of these three, and I'm just, I'm just throwing them out. Obviously, these will vary depending on the client and what they're looking to accomplish. But I, I tell them before I show them, and I haven't showed them prices or quotes at all yet, but the, the three options that we're going to show you comes with all five of these benefits. And I know you love the price lock and having a local guy, you get that with these three options. So I need to know which one you are most comfortable with. Would you prefer 15,000 for $75 a month, 10,000 for $50 a month, or 5,000 for $25 a month? Which are you most comfortable with, Miss Betty? It's easy. You can train anyone to close like this, to get people to make decisions, to make sales, to freaking make money and get you jacked up. I love it. And it works. That's step three of the four step appointment process. Step four, it's the wrap up, the cool down. I want to confirm that they're happy with their decision. I want to explain the next steps of the process. I want to give them a business card. I want to ask for referrals. And then I want to cool down off of business for a few minutes. What's the weather supposed to be like? Do you have any important plans the rest of the week? What do you got going on? What do you do for fun? I want to cool down off of business so that when I leave, there's psychology to everything, so that when I leave, their mind isn't still thinking about business and the policy. We've already come off of that. When I leave, it's put to bed, it's over, it's done. This is my four-step appointment process, and I believe I can turn any final expense agent, life insurance agent, mortgage protection agent, Medicare agent with these steps from an average agent to a superstar agent just by having a successful system that you can plug into and follow. If you like this video, I promise you'll love them all. Give us a like, click subscribe right now. I'm Cody Askin with Secure Agent Mentor. I own Secure Agent Mentor. We're one of the fastest growing insurance marketing brands in the industry, and I want you to be a part of everything we do. Thanks for watching. Have a super day. Try this four-step appointment process, and it will change your life.